So SQL provides a mechanism that we can write the query within itself. Okay. One query, if we write it, another query within itself, then we call it as a nested subquery. So SQL provides mechanism for nesting of the subqueries. A subquery is a again select from where clause, as we see in the basic structure of SQL, that is nested with another query. That is called nested queries or nested subqueries. So the common is uh, nesting when we perform this nested subqueries and when we require when we use set membership, set comparison, etc. So the examples with examples we are going to see the set membership and set comparison operators. Light it for over kind of. So the first one that set membership we are going to see and after that we will see set comparison. Now see the set membership we use in connectivity operation to say check the membership and not in connectivity to check if it is not present. Okay. So there are two keywords used in and not in. So the in connectivity test for the set membership and not in connectivity test for absence of set membership. So this first query find the courses offered in fall 2009 and in spring 2010. So this query already we have solved. With which operation we solve this query? Union operation, intersection operation and the accept operation. If we want to find the courses which are taught in fall 2009 and spring 2010, then what we do? First, we identify the courses which are taught in fall that taught in fall 2009. So, for that the section uh, relation we require. So, we write a simple query as select course ID okay, from section where Semester is equal to fall and year is equal to 2009. This is the first query, sub query. Second sub query is that the same select course ID from section where semester is equal to spring and year is equal to 2010 and the query is that we have to find in both and is there and that's why for this we use union operation okay union so that is the one method already we have seen the same query how we can solve with the in connectivity that now we are going to see so the in connectivity, what we are going to do, first we are going to find out all courses that taught in either fall 2009 or spring 2010. And from that course ID, we are going to find out the course IDs again, which are available in the result of sub -query. Now see the query will be like this. Select distinct course ID from section where semester is equal to fall and year is equal to 2009 and course ID in. So here we use the in connectivity operator where the course ID in. Where the course ID in. So select from where? Where are the course ID? Select course ID from section. Where semester is equal to spring and year is equal to 2010. So how this query execute? First, this sub query is executed and it finds out the courses which are taught in spring 2010. For example, suppose CS 101, CS 147, physics 315. These are the courses which are taught in spring 2010. So what is the result of this subquery? Suppose this is the result of this subquery. Now 
now the next main query is execute select district course id from section where semester in fall year is equal to 2009 and course id and course id in any one of this suppose here cs101 this is taught in fall 2009 and spring uh, sorry year 2000 fall 2009 and this course id is available here then in the result we will get only one course id that is cs101 in this way set membership operation is used in connectivity and the opposite is not not in connectivity so the query is find the courses offered in fall 2009 but spring 2010 so how we solve this query with the help of except operation correct in except operation what we do first we find out the courses that taught in fall 2009 but not in spring 2010 so we use their except operation so instead of that the same we solve it with the set membership not in so here find out first courses which are taught in spring 2010 again suppose cs101 cs147 physics 350 350 these are the courses so select distinct course id from section where semester is equal to fall year is equal to 2009 and course id not in these three other than these three so in this way here the in and not in connectivity is used for set membership similarly set comparison is also there find the name of all instructors with the salary greater than that of at least one instructor in biology department find the name of all instructors whose salary is greater than at least one instructor in biology department so this query already we have solved how we solve this query using rename operation right so as salary is compared with the salary we rename it with the instructor we rename it with t and s and then compare t dot salary with s dot salary and in this way we get the name of the instructor so instead of that instead of that we can use the set comparison operator and that set comparison operator is greater than sum greater than sum as here greater than some or at least one so the phrase greater than at least one is represented in sql with greater than some where some is the keyword some is again the phrase or the clause or we can say the keyword so the same query how we write with the set comparison in this way select name from instructor where salary greater than okay where salary greater than some what is where to which it is compared select salary from instructor where department name is equal to biology so the result of this sub query is the salary of biology department instructor suppose 80000 75000 65000 etc so how this query execute it first find out the salaries of biology Department instructor and then select the name of instructors where salary is greater than at least one of these. So at greater than sum is used here. In this way, less than sum we can use, less than or equal to sum we can use, greater than or equal to sum we can use, equal to sum, not equal to sum also we can use in SQL statement for set comparison. the next example find the name of all instructors whose salary is greater than the salary of all instructors in the biology department in the previous greater than at least one now here greater than all instructors in the biology department and in that case the sql provide a phrase greater than all as there was greater than sir in this way here it is greater than all so the query is like this first it select the salary from instructor where biology department again it gives the result as salary of 
biology department instructor suppose 80000 65000 and 70000 and then this query sub query you will execute select the name from instructor where salary is greater than this all okay greater than this all means more than 80000 it find out the name of all instructors whose salary is greater than this all so here it allows to use less than or less than or equal to greater than or equal to uh, not equal to etc it does same for all this that is about the set comparison operator using less than or greater uh, less than some greater than some or greater than all less than all in that way we can use so another query example find the department that have the highest average salary find the department that has the highest average so first find out the average salary of each department to solve this query select average salary from instructor group by department name as here we want the department wise average salary the result of this query is the department name and its average salary and average salary for example computer science average salary 85000 physics 77000 like this and then from this sub query select from the select department name from instructor group by department name and then average salary greater than or equal to all having average salary greater than or equal to all so here it shows the department name whose average salary is greater than this one you can write this here also so that you display the department name and its highest salary average salary so in this way we can perform the comparison membership or set membership and set comparison